Yeah, I did tell her I hadn't done any running for years and that even with wearing a sports bra, I was a bit worried about. And before I could finish what I was saying, she said, Bounce? So I told her, It's not funny, Shirley. What was it she said? Oh, it was this. What, your bouncing tits are not funny? Have you got a decent sports bra? I said, I reckoned I had, but it was a bit old. You'll just have to go and buy a new one, Denise, and try and not eat yourself in the face today. Yep, that's really what she said. I did try and make a joke of it, even though she'd started to annoy me, so I went, It all goes south in the end when you get to our age. Of course, she had to reply to that by going, Speak for yourself. Then she suggested we do a race for life after the Couch to 5K course. Give us a chance, I thought. We started doing a warm-up, but I was boiling, so I mentioned I felt like I was having a hot flush. So she goes and says, well, that'll be the menopause. I was getting even more tense by then, so I had a bit of a go at her. Or it's your heating. It's like an oven in here. She didn't take any notice. What was it she said to that? Oh, yeah. Well, you are wearing about ten layers. She always has to have the last word. Then she started going on about the London Marathon, as it's on her bucket list, and was I interested in being her training partner? I did think about telling her over my dead body, but then I was so brassed off I heard myself saying, I was pretty good at running at one point. Ran for the school, then represented the county for a bit, but, well, let's say I found other interests. It was indoors most of the time, and a lot more fun. I read somewhere that running is better than sex is what she said to that. If running is better than sex, then I'll have to go out three times a week. I wish I'd never gone and come out with that. The truth be told, running is better than sex these days, as Dave's no longer interested. Don't laugh. And he wrote, I tried to get her off the subject by saying, Right, let's start this run before we chicken out, as we're going to freeze our tits off out there. Shirley just laughed at that. Is that all you're worried about, Denise? Your tits? I was really wound up by then. Then she goes, Why is it that so many phrases use the word tits? You want to know what I said to that? Well, this is what. I don't know, Shirley, but let's just start as we'll likely make tits of ourselves by going arse over tit. Thing is, she did go arse over tit and I just couldn't stop laughing. You've been listening to Couch to 5K, written by Benjamin Peel, performed by Emma Wilkes.